Hey guys, Holly here. Um, just going over uh, some hearing protection real quick. One of the things about shooting is it needs to be done safely. And that includes eye protection and hearing protection. I know I love hearing my son laugh. I love hearing his voice. And I'm sure most of you feel the same way. And I know a lot of people don't want to spend a whole lot of extra money on hearing protection stuff like that. So I'm going to go over a couple mid-range ones. I've been using the Howard Light Impact Sports for a while. Just picked up a new set uh, this Christmas for myself. And I also picked up a set of the Walker's Razors. So I'm going to be going over uh, both those, how they come in the package, what they include, what they do, what they don't do. Um, I hope you enjoy. First off, the way they both come package, Howard Light Impact Sports, their new color finally came in black. Uh, the Walker Razor, Slim Shooter Electronic Muffs, Cardboard Blister Pack, both very similar there. They both uh, include their batteries. Um, I already started to open this, but I decided to let's make the video first. So we're going to start with the Walkers. I'm going to pick these up at a hardware store for $40. You can find them online for about $40. Bucks. But if you go into a sporting goods short store, they instead of being 40 bucks, they usually run 50, 60 bucks. And there's the batteries, the instructions fell out. Not bad packaging, nothing super special. Directions. Let's go ahead and looks like battery door simple here. Batteries. Pop these in. Both of them come with Duracell batteries. Very common battery. Triple A's for both. Um, the walkers have an omnidirectional microphones right here on the front. Controls are right here on the back. Auxiliary input for mp3 player so on and so forth it does not come with any uh, way to hook up your mp3 player it does not come with an aux cable or anything like that um, not too bad the cups feel pretty good on them a lot softer than the, my old impact sports I don't know how these ones are going to compare now impact sports Supposedly, it's a zipper box. But most time preparations are garbage on those anyway, so. Directions on the inside of the box, on the back. Hearing protection, how difficult could it be? Now, these do come with an aux cable. Once again, Duracell batteries, 2 AAA, and the head sets. And once again, pop the batteries in these. Controls are similar, not exactly the same. Cover off and make sure put in the proper direction. Uh, once again, microphones omnidirectional, both on the front, aux input. There's our controls. They do both come with padded tops on them, ample cable on them to run on full extension. We've got larger heads. Oh, sorry about that. Same on the Howard lights. Go full extension. Plenty of cable in there. Now, these are softer than my old Howard lights. My old Howard lights were a bit stiffer. These ones actually feel like they'll be halfway comfortable. Now another thing we're going to do today is we are actually going to be going out to the range 
and running both of these, I'm just going to be shooting two very common calibers. I'm going to be shooting uh, 22 out of a 1911 22. I'm going to be shooting 9mm out of a 1911 9mm just to see what the difference is. Uh, sound dampening, how fast they both react. The razors say they react in 0 0.02 seconds, so two one hundredths of a second reaction time. And they're rated to 23 decibels, noise reduction. The Howard lights are only rated to 22 decibels. But one of the big differences that you see on the back of the Howard lights, it actually says what frequency the attenuation in decibels and standard deviation in decibels. So as your frequency goes up, you actually get better noise reduction. But the 22 decibels is going to be an average. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but we are going to see how they compare. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and get packed up here in just a second. Uh, one reason I'm not going to be shooting a long gun is because every time I do shoot a long gun with any sort of hearing protection, you see both of these are very thin through here. My cheek weld actually forces this to break on me, and I actually brought my AR down so I can demonstrate that. I wish I could wear hearing protection like this when I'm shooting a long gun, but I always use my in-ear custom molds. Those seem to do a very good job for me. So I'm going to pop these on, shoulder the AR real quick, and show you exactly what I mean. Now both of those, it, my rifle hits right here on the bottom of these and it caused it to seal, just to unseal a little bit. And also the rifle on recoil moving on this, it's really loud and annoying. So I personally do not like wearing muffs when shooting long gun, be it rifle, shotgun, muzzle loader, whatever the case may be. Uh, I love them when I'm taking classes or if I'm out just shooting handgun. It's very easy to communicate with other shooters if you're in a class, it's very easy to hear what the instructor's saying, and they do protect you. So now I'm going to get packed up, and we're going to head down to the range and do a little shooting. Thank you. Okay, here we are out at the range. Got the Howard lights on, got the walkers. Uh, both have batteries. As you saw earlier, I put those in when I opened them. Uh, Immediately, I've had them both on out here, walking around, leaves everywhere. The walkers, it seems like it's a little bit slow transferring the sound to the microphone, I mean to the speakers. The Howard lights, these are, when I'm stepping on something, I'm hearing immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do five shots, 1911-22, with the Howard lights. And I'm going to turn the volume all the way up on both of them. So, I'm going to do five shots with this. I'm running uh, CCI Velocerators because I want something fast. I want to make sure pretty much as loud as it can be for a 22. So, five with the Howard Lot, five with the Walkers. Not bad. And now, let's put those back there. Got the walkers, trying not to shake the camera too much. Set the on, toss in the pocket for a second. Volume's all the way up. And like I said, it, it's weird. When I move the leaves with my foot, it's just a very, very slight delay. And I'm wondering if that's part of what they're doing for the speed.
The walkers for the 22 definitely were quiet. Um, we're gonna go ahead and run nine mil. I told you 1911 9mm, I grabbed the wrong mag for that, so I'm going to actually be running it on my Glock instead. Be right back. Okay, back out here. Um, Winchester 115 grain, Winchester white box, just standard cheap range ammo. Run that out of the Glock, five shots of the Walkers, then five shots of the Howard Light. Okay, not too bad. Like I said, I am running these both with the volume turned all the way up to get the best effect out of it that I can. And now, five shots with the Howard Light. The walkers are definitely a lot quieter. Um, I got one more type of ammo to try. I've got some uh, Phoenix 147 grain subsonics, uh, competition loads. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up 10 in the Glock and uh, we'll see how those sound. Okay, back with the 147 grain Phoenix uh, subsonic competition ammo. This is their standard like three gun load, uh, USPSA, IPSC, uh, whatever type of competition you're doing. Nice, slow, consistent ammo. I've actually never ran it before. And sitting here talking to you, I'm actually hearing some weird buzzing in the right ear on these uh, Howard lights. So let's see how these ones do. Still turned all the way up on maximum. Let's give this a try. So far, honestly, even though I've always used the Howard lights, I think I'm liking the walkers better. They're both in the same price range, and the walkers seem to be doing a better job on deadening the sound, which I'm going 47. Okay, um, it's cold out. Hands are already starting to hurt a little bit. From just my little bit of use here, things I don't like about the walkers, I don't like their little plug down here for their aux. It keeps popping out on me, it's kind of annoying. Deal breaker, no. Um, the pads out of the box are a little bit softer on the walkers than they are on the Howard lights. Weight wise, I'd have to put on a scale. I think the walkers are just slightly heavier. Just sitting here holding them in my hands. Of course, not the most accurate way to tell. Very comparable in weight though. Even though I've used these longer, I've used Howard Lights as my second set of them. I, I honestly gotta say, I'm liking the razors a little better, personal preference. They're doing a better job deadening the sound and it's definitely noticeable. If you've got any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Please like, subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, pass it on, share it, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe.